So, at last, a week when Julia Gillard can report positive progress. And I'm not just talking about a nudge upwards in the polls, or even of the passing of the carbon tax, important though that is. That wasn't really Julia Gillard's, it was Kevin Rudd's, as modified by the Greens. But Julia Gillard can now start embarking on her own agenda. And she has, with the promise of $2 billion from the Commonwealth, to raise the money for members of the Services Union. And that means carers for the disabled, the elderly, the terminally ill, all the other people who have essentially worked as part-time volunteers for most of their lives. Everyone agrees that they're vastly underpaid and that they deserve a rise. And Julia Gillard has now put her weight behind getting them a rise, but not only that, she's dressed it up as an equal pay issue, because almost all of these people are in fact women. So Julia Gillard has now got her own agenda going, finally. And it's one she can be proud of, and it's one she's going to have to push. The states, as always, the employers, as always, are saying, where's the money coming from? We can't afford to do our bit. Other areas of people who reckon they're underpaid are going to join in and try and piggyback on this promise. But it's a solid start to a solid, genuinely Labor agenda and Gillard should be proud of it. And what's more, it takes the attention away from all the other bits of Kevin Rudd's that she is still to tidy up, the asylum seekers and the miners' tax. So Gillard, and now in Hawaii of course, but on her way back with President Obama, has really got something to celebrate. And good luck to her, she's had a bugger of a year. <laughs> I'm not going to help. Thank you.